this is CJ with CJ Digitals. Um, I am just getting on here today to do a little step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use a Canva website template. Um, Canva website templates are really great for all sorts of different kinds of professionals from photographers to um, virtual assistants to coaches of all different varieties. So I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to access and edit your template in Canva for free um, and get your website up as soon as today. So the first thing you need to do after you've purchased the file from our shop is head into your Etsy, um, come up here to your account and go down to purchases and reviews. Now you're not gonna get the temp template right here um, in your Etsy in your Etsy purchases, what you're going to get is a download. So I don't have any purchases in this particular um, Etsy account, but your purchase would be here. And on the side where it says search for purchases on the side, it would have a little link that says download. And so you'd click on the download link and you would download the file to your account. And you're going to get um, a a PDF that looks kind of like this. And this is the link to the Canva template that you're going to use. And it's gonna come and pop up on your computer just like this, okay? You might get a different screen that has um, like a little box in, in, in it, and, and that's fine too. Uh, but the first thing that you actually want to do is come over here to File and make a copy. Now, this is an important step because if you do not make a copy, when you actually go to publish the website, it won't allow you. So this is the original. We're gonna say publish website. And over here, it's gonna say, you cannot publish this website. You are not a member of this team because I have restrictions on it. So either way, it's gonna force you to make a copy. So here's my it's called my copy of my copy. But if I go to publish it as a website, now it's going to let me see the difference there. So you have to make a copy and then you can label it whatever you want. I'm just gonna label it CJ Digitals. Okay, so this other um, original that I have that says over here, I can't make a copy, that's fine. We're just gonna delete, we don't need that one. Okay, now, um, we're gonna close this real fast, sorry. So this is what it looks like when you get it, okay? It's all set up just like in the list listing with the same color palette. Now, this color palette you do not see on the Etsy listing. This is something I added so that you personally can add your own color palette or you can see the color palette that I actually use for the website template and you know exactly what color schemes you want. So I'm gonna actually change my colors. So I actually just click this and I can come in and I can change them. So I'm actually gonna do um, a couple of grays and this um, kind of turquoisey green. And you can come up here to this right here and change that color to a little bit lighter. And then I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna say my color palette is just these four colors and I'm gonna customize it specifically for my own um, website. So you can, um, there's a couple things you can do here. You can delete this whole thing right here and you can get rid of this um, logo, logo here entirely. You can ungroup it and you can just take the text off and add your own, um, logo, or you can simply upload. Oh, I thought I uploaded it. Hold on. Let's find it now. Um, you can upload your own, oops, your own image. There's mine, so I could put it over the top of this if I wanted to. Just bring it all the way forward. Can't really see that great, but I'm not going to. I would just put my own logo in the corner there, and I can change the size of it to 
be bigger, smaller, whatever I want it to. Does that make sense? Um, I can change this background picture. Now, I don't have any uploads um, of my own here, so I'm just going to use some of the free um, images that they have in Canva. So I come to elements here and I just typed in wedding. So I can see everything that's wedding. I can do photos specifically. I can do graphics. I can even do videos if I want. But I'm just looking for a photo. Um, I'm going to use this one. Now this is a great example because you can see it has the watermarks on it, which means this is part of Canva Pro. Now all of the images that I use in the website templates, whether it's a photography one, um, one for uh, online professional, whatever, they're free in Canva and they do not have this watermark. So you can use them however you wish. Um, but if they have the watermark or if you come over here and they have this little crown, that means it's Canva Pro. That means you have to pay to upgrade to Canva Pro for the watermark to be removed. Okay, that's important information. Um, if you don't want to, if you want to use their stock photos, I mean, if you're a photographer, obviously you're going to use your own photos. But if you need to use their stock photos, you just want to make sure that um, this watermark's not going away. So you want to make sure that you pick something that works. Okay, and then I can come in here and I can change my colors for my text to fit um, my needs as well. This picture is not my favorite. Let's see if we can find one that maybe we can see a little bit better. You can do something that's kind of boring. And maybe I'm going to change these back to black just so that we can see them this particular thing but all right whatever it works for you um, I'm going to change my book now button and I'm going to change it maybe to one of my greens yeah I like the green but I think I'm going to go back to um, you know it's just the aesthetic right you gotta change it to something we'll go with that We'll pretend like that's going to work out for us. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of my first page, changing into colors. And you, again, you can play with it. If you want to change the font, if you don't like the font, you can go up here and change it to something else. It's super simple to use. That's what I love about it. Okay, next page, we're going to change the color. We're going to go with our light green. Maybe your name is not Maggie, right? Maybe your name is... And we're going to find a picture of a woman because Stephanie wants to show her face to her clients. And we're going to change the contact button to this gray. You could even change the color again of your font if you wanted to change it to the gray. If you like that better, that would be just fine. Then here, you would be able to add your photos of your own photography or... Um, you know, maybe you want to show brands that you've worked with, um, whatever. But you can click on the photo. So I clicked on the photo, double clicked, and I can change, you know, where it's at. I can edit the image, add it, make it brighter. You know, you can do whatever you want. Let's see if we can just find a few. Just throw a couple of images in here, right? Okay. Again, next page, I'm going to change the color to this gray. Now, this is the what I have to offer. So if you have certain skills, um, certain, like in this case, photography that you do, like you do weddings, bridals, engagements, maybe you do um, senior photos or family photos or whatever, you can change the text to whatever you want. Um, and then we're actually linking these, this text. This will become a button, and we're actually going to link this text to either your gallery, which is at the very end here of your website, or you can actually link it to an external source. So if you already have like a Google Photos, um, a Google Photos uh, folder that you want to share, um, if you have um, another account like on Instagram that you want to share, if you have um, maybe a different website, I don't know, wherever you might have photos that you want to share, you can actually change this link. So 
you're going to come up here in the corner and this these two little interlocking kind of semicircles. So here right now it's linking us to the gallery. And the gallery is this page here at the bottom of your web page. Um, so it, if they click this, it'll pop them to the gallery currently. But we're going to change that. We're going to delete that. And we're going to put in, um, let's see, is this a site? Let's call it weddingphotos.com. I'm sure that actually is something. So we're going to call it weddingphotos.com. That's not our site, but we're going to put it in there, right? And press enter. Hold on. No, we're going to, whoops, I'm going all over the place. So we're going to come here, here, we're going to delete it. And then we're going to enter our new link and push enter. And it should have saved. So there it is right there. So when we publish this here in a second, when we click this, it's going to go to this off, off site. Okay. So your Google Photos or whatever you might be sharing. Okay. And we'll show you that here in a second. All right, the next page is testimonials. Testimonials are really great if you're trying to get a client to, to work with you and they don't know anything about you. So um, Janice here says that they made her day super special. Um, so it's great to get, you know, a email one of your clients, someone you've worked with and say, hey, would you be willing to give a short testimonial, a couple sentences of why you enjoyed working with me or what you liked about my business? You could keep this page, you could delete it. If you don't want it, just click on the page and then come over here where it says delete page and you can delete that entire section. Okay, but again, testimonials are really great. You could keep one, you could add two, you could expand this box so you have room for more. You could change the font size. Um, you can change the photo back behind again to show one of your showcase one of your photos from something again it all works all right the next one is following on instagram i'm just going to change the background color again i kind of like these grays i like kind of the neutrals you'd add your stephanie at stephanie photos I'll pretend that's your instagram handle Okay, and I'm going to italicize it. Then again, you change your you know, photos here to include all your beautiful work. Okay, again, watermarks are on here. So you want to make sure that if you're using stock photos, you either pay for pro or you um, make sure that they're free photos, free images. All right, and then the last page here is your contact info. Again, you put your logo here. My logo is a little too light for this, this template. Oops. Move them over, there he goes. <laughs> um, and if you make your um, logo in can't darken them up a little probably not a little bit okay the contact info phone number change your email to stephanie instead of maggie right and then the last page here is your gallery so you can update these with the photos that you want to share now a couple of things if you want to see your entire web page as you're working on it you just shrink it down with your zoom here and you can kind of see it as you're going. This is what the whole web page will look like. Okay. If you come down here, I guess I should show you this, come down here to notes, click on notes. It's going to show you each of your pages. Okay. You can jump to each page that way. You can also click these little dots here and you can duplicate the page. So let's say you like this page, you want to duplicate it, add another page and put some more photos down here that are a little bit larger. Um, you can do that. You can also delete pages from here. So since our website is pretty much ready, oh, I guess we need to change these colors. I didn't think about that on my 
buttons here. I want my buttons to be on brand. All right. So here's my buttons. We're doing kind of a green. All right. Since I kind of am where I want to be, this is kind of what I want my site to look like. Now I can come up here to this first page that has my dots and I can delete this page. I don't need it anymore, right? I don't need um, the dots. No, it's not going. Hold on. Let's go down here. Okay. Delete page. It just keeps moving it down for me instead. Okay. So I deleted that page. I don't need my dots. If I go down, this is what it's going to look like. It looks great. I'm super impressed. Okay. Now I'm ready. The great thing about Canva is it automatically saves, so it's been saved. All I have to do, I can push preview. And this is a good tool to use as you're going if you kind of want to see what it looks like. I can push preview, and this is kind of what the site looks like. This is what people will see. They'll be super impressed with my skills, right? Oh, and the preview is also great because it shows you up here in the corner. This is what it looks like on desktop. This is what it's going to look like on mobile. Okay, so beautiful. All those photos. And then your gallery here at the end is big enough that they can see it. So it's mobile responsive, which means it shifts so that it works on any mobile device, whether it's a tablet or a cell phone, right? Oh, the other thing I didn't show you, now that I'm thinking about it, sorry. If you want to, um, let's go specifically to this one. So we have contact me here. So this you would want to hyperlink to an email, to a newsletter site. So you can use ConvertKit and you could hop over to an email site, but you would, would click up here and you'd have your hyperlink and then you would put it here. So let's, um, we put in here. Um, I don't, I don't know, but you could, you could put whatever. Most people have um, like an email service, and if you don't, um, I personally really like ConvertKit. I've also used um, uh, a Win, no, a Weber. Um, I've used, I don't know, I've used several different email. Um, email providers, um, but you would would create a link and put that here so that when they contact you, they're able to get to you right right away. Um, so this would you'd want to make it into a button. OK, now I think we're ready. So we're going to go ahead and publish our site. Um, now, when we come up here and click this button, um, it's showing us that it will resize to mobile. This is what it would look on mobile. Um, you have some options. You can use a free domain and it's hosted specifically by Canva. You don't have to do a dang thing. That's what I love about this. You don't have to know how to do anything. Canva will host this for you and you can still showcase your work. You can actually purchase a domain through Canva. So if you wanted it to be, you know, cjdigitals.com or, you know, stephaniesphotos.com or whatever, you can actually purchase that here through Canva. Or if you've already purchased a domain, you can use that domain through Canva as well and, and set it up. Um, these two options are pro options. So you actually have to have a pro account. I think it's 119, so like $120 a year, um, which is not horrible. But I'm just using a free, free domain and you get five of them. So. Um, and then you get to choose what you want to call it. So, um, Steph's Photos. Okay, now if this is already taken by someone, they'll let you know. So let's continue and see. Looks like we can do it. Yay! Um, we can edit what this says. So we would put Steph's Photos. If I can spell photos. And then you could say, um, uh, check out my wedding photography and book Steph today or something. But 
but this is your website description. So that's not really a great description, but this is what would show up in Google. Um, if people are looking for you, so, um, professional wedding photographer, lots of life experience. I don't know, whatever you want to write for your website, site description, you can pass protect it. So if you, um, are taking photos of people, sometimes they don't want other people to see them, right? But you want to showcase them. Um, and you want to be professional about it, you can password protect it. Let's say you have children's photos, right? And people don't really want their kids out there for everyone to see. So you can click on this and you would get um, a password sent to you. Uh, and then you can have your site hidden from search engines. So if you don't want Google to find your site, then you'd click this. Honestly, that that it doesn't matter, right? Um, if you're a business, you want to... Um, have your site seen. Okay, lastly here, um, it's saying to do, do today is $4. Now, Canva is free. So if you get to this point and it's $4, that is because in your design here, you used stock photos or images that you have to pay for. So that's why it's not going to let us publish our site right now. So I will, because I was just being lazy, just add some different um, images in here because I'm using a different account. I do have Canva Pro. Um, let's see, another stock photo did I use here? Oh, it was in these. Okay, now I think we're good. Um, is it one more oh I know what it is it's the background for my testimonials okay now <laughs> so continue and we're gonna publish it yay for publishing so it's gonna take a minute or two to publish doesn't take super long um, some of that depends on the images that you used, I think, but all right. So now here, right here, I'm going to copy this link, but this is my website link. So if I want to share it with people, this is the link. Now I click here, view my website and it's going to pull it up. Now, sometimes it takes a little bit because it, you know, your computer and your internet is a little bit slower right now. <laughs> So it doesn't have any of my images right now, but that's on Canva, not on me. It's still trying to figure us out here. Again, here's my book now button. This I would want to make sure that I have connected um, to something. So actually what we could do, now that I'm thinking about it, um, we could go away, please. All right, we could connect the book now button and we can have it come down to our contact info. Same with the contact me. We can have it come down to the contact info. And so when we publish this again, um, if we click that button, it'll jump down to the contact and then they'll know how to get a hold of us. If we don't want to um, have to, so I'll click this button and, oh, look, there's my contact info, right? This is just pretty, um, image heavy. So that's why we're struggling here. Same here. Contact me down. I actually haven't had this problem with it loading. And I think part of it's just, it's a new site. All of these up here are also linked. So if I click this one, It's going to go to my packages, right? Um, this one will jump down to my gallery. Kind of see how that works. So it's just kind of a small, a, sh a short little site, but it gives people lots of information and you're able to, to showcase what you have available. All right, let's jump here. So this is what I have to offer. We said wedding, bridals, engagements. Remember we added a link here. 
So we're gonna jump over. Oh look, we went to weddingphotos.com. We're pretending that that's actually a thing, right? So I was able to, um, oh, I closed our site, sorry. Let's open it up. So this is, I just copied and pasted that, that link and it pulled up my site, right? With all my information and my testimonials, more photos, how you can find us on Instagram, our contact info, but it's all right there and it's free, right? So you don't have to do anything additional for this website to work for you. You just have to go in and add your info. Now, once you have it and you've published it, Canva won't let you do anything until you say, yes, I do want to edit this design because they want to remind you that you're editing the design. But as you're editing it, so if I come back here and re-edit all of this, um, Canva will not um, change it at all until I republish it up here. So I can actually go in and edit everything in here and my website will not change until I click publish as my website. Does that make sense? So I'm giving it more per permissions. Okay, but there, that's your website. Everything's on it. You change the colors, you added different photos, you change the links up, but that's how easy it is to um, edit your template in Canva. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. If you have questions or you need a little bit of help or guidance, feel free to email me um, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Can't wait to see what you do with your new website.